Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba and today we are going to the final step of this bridge and uh, we'll get started right away. If you take a look closer on, on our, uh, the second video we did, we were working on the guardrails but we didn't really finish. We left it halfway after really explaining how to do things here. We were placing the guardrails so due to time we just decided to cut it short but i ended up finalizing everything so that uh, we move faster now let me just take you through what i did and uh, i'll come to view and, and pick on fly here and prior to that let me just pull this into a position that you you can be able to see this clearly this is this is how it looks. I tried also to chamfer these parts to remove these sharp edges because you know these sharp edges exposes the column for to wear so much because we just remove the sharp edges to by chamfering all the sharp edges. And uh, let me just take to rotate this. You can check that we have pedestals here in place everything in place and uh, things ready now for analysis and uh, maybe if you want uh, preliminary drawings it, uh, this can do can work much better for you now let me just come to navigate and rotate this and you can take a look this is now ready for analysis and uh, you can take this for analysis and uh, also if you want to generate some plan drawings some elevation uh, just to show or share with whoever you want about the idea of uh, this kind of bridge this is ready now you can see the pedestals here we have here the bottom end here and uh, let me change the view once again let me double click on the screen and i'll come to projections under property views and i'll change this to pers perspective and click uh, modify apply and accept that so i'll uh, come to navigate as uh, i've told you previously it, when it comes to rotation use the tool that uh, makes you move faster i use both I'll continue saying that because uh, some viewers all some ask me why don't I use the keyboard I use both so the screen is more accessible on the menu bar is more accessible to me than the keyboard now let me come to that and rotate this and you can see that then uh, let's fly let's fly over and see what happened to our guardrails and this how it looks this how it looks and uh, I ended up finalizing it so that we don't move we take we take so we don't take so many steps doing this so this is what I did let me just bring it up slightly I'll bring it up slightly and uh, you can see this just drive all the way you drive and check and check all the parts of the bridge and uh, it ended up there and we can take another an, another flight or another drive we can take a run along along the walkway here and you can see that you can see that this is how it looks this is how it looks and uh, if I turn back this is how it looks this is the bridge we've used I've particularly used uh, the concrete shell and the profile did it in AutoCAD and I, I brought it into Tecla structures and ex extruded it to a, a length of 5 meters and I used uh, an array tool to come up with this kind of a model and uh, let me just come back and you can see the, the guardrails were finished and uh, the method of doing this I think I showed you and that is what you should be using if I, I, I cut if I left you hanging 
So that is the method that you, you should use. And uh, you should end up with something similar to this or something that looks like this. Now, let's go to the bottom end of our of our of our bridge. Let's go all the way to this end. Let's go all the way to, to, to the bottom end and terminate it here and come to navigate and let's rotate this so that we, we, we take a closer look on, on every part of this. Just zoom out and bring it close once again and uh, try to rotate it so that we have a view of everything clearly. Now we want to start walking right at the bottom end here. So we'll, we'll take a ride, just jump on top of this. And this is how it looks. This is how it looks. And you can see the chamfers. And this is how a bridge looks. This is this how our bridge looks and the pillars and uh, the pad footings. Perfect. And uh, let's take a corner and come back to the previous position we were before. Let me just bring it down slightly, bring it down slightly so that you see every corner here. And uh, there we are, there we are. And uh, we can stop here and uh, uh, take a look. Bring it down slightly. Let's stop here and check on the pedestals. This is the bridge we were talking about. And uh, let me just come down. Come down or up. And this is where we were. And uh, let's take a final ride and take a look. And we'll stop right here and uh, terminate the fly. Now, I want to export this model to SketchUp. So I did this previously. So the previous video that I posted showed you how to do that. To do that is very simple. You come to, to files here and uh, come to export, then click SketchUp. It will, be, it will be exported. Just click that. And just go straight and, click and create from all. And follow this uh, file. On the file name here you see. On the file name of your model. And uh, open it in SketchUp. So I did that. And I have it in SketchUp right here. So I, I went further and did. And, and, and uh, became a little bit fancy with this. Because I, I added some. I added some uh, some vehicles just on the bridge. You can see that. Added this so that it, it looks something similar to a bridge, a slightly real life bridge. So just turn this, and you can see it's exactly similar. And the measurements have haven't changed the way they, they were in Tecla structures because these two products are from Tr Trimble and. Uh, Tecla structure uh, SketchUp does not interfere in any way with the measurements from from uh, from uh, SketchUp doesn't interfere in, in any way with the measurements from Tecla structures. So this is how it looks. It's a busy, it's a busy, it's a busy bridge, and this is how it looks. Now. We can move it to some position. You can come here and pick it from this spot here. And zoom out. And zoom out. Yeah, we've just picked the bridge, but we've left the vehicles. So that is not appropriate. That is not appropriate. So what you'll do, we'll just leave it in that position. And uh, press escape. Give it some time because it's slightly heavy. It, uh, it's demanding so much graphic services from our system. We can add some more vehicles. 
you can come to this and pick on that then now uh, we can press control pick on that and press control and uh, want you can pick that from that spot and add another one right here and another one right there Then uh, what we do, we come back here and select on it. Then now uh, we just type maybe three, click on it. Then now uh, you add three. From here we add uh, three, let, let's just leave it somewhere here. Somewhere here is okay. And uh, pick another one from that spot press control pick another one from that spot and take it all the way to that spot anyway that is all the main aim here we, we were just trying to to make it look like a real bridge so this is how it looks this is how it looks when i turn it let me just turn it around this is how it looks. There we are. Now from here we want to take it to, we want now to present it to either client. We want to package it for presentation first before we subject it to our analysis and uh, generating the preliminary preliminary drawings that will be discussed on how some parts should be adjusted and uh, and 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 many others let me just bring this close so what do we do next we just come here and, and export this to export this three mod uh, 3d model and uh, we want to export this as an f fbx file i already did this so just give it a name and uh, select the file you want to export it to i picked uh, fbx and also you can also pick colada or dae but these two work works better so i did that and uh, the file we have is here is i, I saved it on the starting the lumion what we'll do just first of all uh, shut down all these because lumion tries tries so much to pull so much uh, demand so much graphics demand so much from our system so we can't operate these three at a go we have to shut uh, the rest down so that uh, lumen can work uh, perfectly well alone using all the resources from the system now we'll uh, bring this down we'll uh, close this we'll close tackle structures and uh, we'll close also we'll close also uh, SketchUp and now we'll start uh, Lumion. We'll just double click on the Lumion right there. It's taking time. Let's check. It's okay. And now we can come here and pick on that template. And we have it here already. And pick on it, on it right there. And you can snap it right there. Give it some time to load everything. There we are. And uh, we can now press Ctrl, press Q, Shift. Press Q, Shift. This is the bridge I was talking about. All we just saw in tackle structures and uh, in... Uh, in SketchUp, now we've pulled it in to Lumion for uh, for better presentation. We want to package it so that uh, uh, it, it can be shared with people who doesn't have some technical background, but they want to see it in real life. How how will it look like? How it will it look like? So that you can you can have an age over the competitors who want a similar job and uh, you, you can convince uh, 
the own of the job and take this and this is how you package your you package your work we we'll close this we we'll close that and this is how it looks let me just bring this down slightly bring this down and you can see that and and let's change the graphic here want to make make this look much better we'll uh, take this uh, editor's resolution to 100 percent and give it another. this round like that it was taking some time because it, it is actually heavy and uh, it's it tries to consume so much from the system and uh, that's why it was slightly slow and then let me just turn this like this the vehicles are at the far end at the back here and we'll get we'll get up to that spot that should not be a worry and i want just to show you how this will look and i want to just to add some parts to make it look a real life bridge prior to now jumping into generating drawings and, and giving this for analysis now this is how it looks we have the handrails here we have the handrails uh, the, the guard rails we have here and uh, everything is is in place everything is in place and this is how it looks and uh, we'll move bit by bit till uh, we get to the far end of this just get rid of this it's really a nuisance this is the, uh, the pedestrian path you can see the columns and also the chamfers and let me just bring this close let me just bring this close and just bring this closer and closer it takes time because it's big it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it was a big bridge it was big it was so big and this is how it looks let me just change the height change the height slightly you see at the bottom end here That is how it looks. Perfect. You can see the bridge at the bottom end here. We can also add, we can also have some meaning why it is a bridge we can add water just uh, we'll come here and uh, click on this and we can add water you can add water right here we can uh, we can create water body somewhere here and increase the height or uh, enlarge this just zoom out just to make it have that meaning of a bridge why it is a bridge it's passing over what or it's it's cutting across what now you can raise the height slightly up take the height slightly up bring this height slightly up here while dragging this apart just drag this away 
just have something similar to have this bridge have a meaning of bridge why is it where where is it what is it passing over it might pass over water a water body and we can also uh, move this in that in this direction press shift and I will move slightly inward and I'll click on this and click here and try to edit it this is water real life water and this is how it looks this is how it looks and we're still adding water you can drag that all the way to that end drag that all the way to that end that's enough and uh, you can turn this and uh, take a look at it closer now what we'll do we'll just come here and take shots we'll, we'll make shots and create a clip of, of this just uh, push this to that to far end right there and uh, increase the height you can see the height increasing let's move close let's move let's just move closer to move very much close so this is our bridge here and we press control press control Q and this will take us down we went deep inside water which was quite dangerous you can suffocate then now uh, we'll just zoom close and uh, turn this slightly like that and we'll press control Q control shift um, I mean Q shift and at this spot we'll be able to generate we'll create a clip on uh, on how this bridge looks on re in real life and uh, you cannot watch the clip on how this bridge looks Thank you and enjoy watching this.